water the garden. You might as well have fun doing it. Would you look at that? It's going to be 90 degrees today. It's already 89 and a half. Let's uh, talk about watering the garden as the summer pattern sets in because, man, it's hot and we've got to water every day. Let's talk about some watering issues. Whew. It's hot out there. So, a little bit of word about watering. Um, I don't do any drip systems or soaker hoses, anything like that, because I move my, I move my containers around a lot each year, and have them in different places, and I just don't want to go through the hassle of having to reroute and set up everything like that, and uh, have to learn just yet. I'm not there yet. Maybe I will be someday, but I don't want to have to learn. You know what? What's my rates and how do I put it on a timer and all that. Um, currently, I just go out and water my plants, and I do that daily. When it gets to be in the 80s. Uh, especially in the in the mid to high 80s like it is now in uh, the beginning of May here in zone 9a I have to water every single day and I have to water generally earlier rather than later and so uh, a morning watering is ideal so you know like before we go to church I go out and water before uh, I get my daily work done go out and water the garden uh, in the morning sometimes I, I put it off until the afternoon and I go out like today uh, some of the tomato plants were kind of weepy and wilty and if you get that far, it's not healthy for the plant. It can shock them with uh, wide fluctuations in moisture in their buckets. But tomatoes are very resilient plants, and better to water them later and have them perk up again than uh, not to water them at all or just to neglect them. So I go out water every day. Like I said, I feel um, I feel like it's more. I'm in more contact with my garden. But you got to keep things hydrated. That is the killer. Number one killer of new gardeners especially is they fear overwatering, so they don't water enough and the plants die and they say, well, what's going on? Uh, why are my plants looking all wilty? Why are they, why are they turning yellow? Why are they dying? Well, you got to water them. Furthermore, watering uh, without mulch uh, is not a good practice either. What you want to do is heavily mulch, even in your containers, put a lot of mulch, two or three inches of mulch on top of the soil, and that will help retain moisture and delay the, the evaporation of what moisture is in your soil. So the importance of watering and keeping your soil moist and your plants hydrated um, is, is so critical that you need to take steps to ensure that your plants don't uh, get dry and, uh, in a hot environment like ours. So mulch, whether it's wood mulch, whether it's grass clippings, whether it's leaf, I find that grass, clipping, grass clippings combined with uh, wood mulch really are make a dense mulch but the water can still penetrate and so say a five gallon bucket I have a mature producing tomato plant in a five gallon bucket I'll go out with my my you know my standard garden center hose sprayer and I'll set it to shower and I'll give it 10 to 15 seconds of a good shower I'll fill up that five gallon bucket with a, a good 10 to 15 seconds of water now I don't know what the flow rate is but you kind of just know you get you, you kind of get into in touch with your plant and you know wow my plant needs a little more today or that plant doesn't need so much and uh, you get to you get to feel how your plants are doing so uh, stay on top of your watering especially when it's hot don't let your plants fluctuate from extremes always try to keep them as, as moist as possible or, or as, as, as consistently irrigated as possible and that's what we're doing today. I'm going to go out and water the garden. I don't have a lot to show you right now in terms of uh, techniques or anything. I'm kind of into the wait, wait for the fruit to bear mode and start harvesting. And so I'm just going to I'm just give you a brief, very brief tour of what's going on, what it looks like. Uh, this is week 14 or 15. I don't even know now. We're in, we're in established garden mode. We're waiting for fruit to be uh, harvested. And we are in maintenance mode.
One thing you want to remember about watering is when you leave a hose outside and just kind of lays in the yard, the hose is filled with water. Phoebe Hush, I'm talking. <laughs> and that water heats up and it's very, very hot. And if I just start spraying my dog, trying to have fun and spraying Phoebe there with, with the hose, I could burn her, I could scald her, I could really hurt my plants too. So make sure that you spray out all that hot water before you start spraying your plants or letting your kids have fun in the water or you let your animals drink out of it, it could really burn. So in a hot environment like ours, get your cool water from the, from the, from the pipes and spray out all that hot water from the hose. Well, thanks for joining me on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Please subscribe to our channel and click the like button. Leave a comment. All those things really help us a lot and really encourage us to uh, keep doing this. We're doing this because we love gardening and we like to, like to uh, show and share. And uh, well, we'll talk to you next time. Take care.